Hi guys and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we are gonna see how to integrate Mule 4 with Twitter Streaming API. I am Muhammad Akib, MuleSoft Certified Developer, working on MuleSoft projects since last few years. Before we move on, you should know how to configure self-signed SSL certificate in MuleSoft. If you don't know how to do it, you can watch my previous video where I have explained how you can configure self-signed SSL certificate in your local server and on Cloud Hub. You should have a little bit of experience working with Postman, Advanced REST Line or any other REST Line where you have interacted with your APIs. You should be on basic or on advanced level of MuleSoft and any point platform. You should know how to deploy MuleSoft applications on CloudHub. In this video, we will cover how to create Twitter developer account. We will see an overview of Twitter developer account. We will configure webhook API with Twitter streaming API and that webhook API will be in MuleSoft. We will create Mule 4 application to integrate with Twitter and in the end we will see a demo of this whole integration. So let's move on and start with how to create Twitter developer account. So you need to go to the URL developer.twitter.com where you can apply for developer account for Twitter. When you click apply, you should see this page where you will see apply for access and apply for a developer account. Once you click apply for a developer account, you should see the login screen where you need to log in with your Twitter account and then you should have a different form which you can fill to find the access of Twitter developer account. However, Twitter developer team will take almost 15 to 20 days to approve or reject your account. So you need to be very very careful while filling the fields which would ask you information regarding what reasons you are going to use the developer account for. So I have already created Twitter developer account and Twitter has approved my developer account. Let's go back to Twitter developer account and see the overview. So this is the Twitter developer account. We are in dashboard. You can see different APIs that I requested from Twitter. One of them is search tweets API, which is available for 30 days tweets. One is for full archive where you will see tweets even before 30 days. And then this is a really interesting API which we will be working in this video. Account Activity API which means that whenever anything happens within my account like someone comes and follows me, someone unfollows me, I share a tweet or retweet, someone comes and comments on my tweets and like my tweet. I will be getting all the streaming data everything on near real-time streaming to my MuleSoft account which I will configure just now. So let's see from here we have subscriptions tab where we can subscribe and we will see the subscription information we can have 0 out of 15 currently and then we can subscribe almost 15 subscriptions but we will see how to subscribe and we will see the subscription with account API, account activity API. Then we have apps. You need to create this app to interact with MuleSoft or any other third party integration. You can click create app and give the details as required by you. So I have already created an app, Mule for POC. Let's move in and see the details. I have given these details and this is very important section where we can see 
API key, API secret key. Of course, I'm showing you this secret key, but I'm gonna regenerate it, so no worries. And then we have access token and access secret. You can regenerate it so that you can see on the screen and copy to use these fields within MuleSo. You can set more permissions if you want, otherwise let it be as it is. And then we have dev, dev environments for which we can set up a developer environment which will be configured with our application. So for account activity API, you can come here, set up dev up, uh, environment and then I can name it dev select application with for POC. I can say complete setup. So I have I have got an error uh, creating an environment because this was already used previously. So let's create with another name. I can say dev one and application should be made for it complete. So I have successfully created a dev environment label develop uh, uh, dev environment. I have set up dev environment and configured with mul4 poc. Now once we have set up Twitter developer account for dev environment and for application. Let's move back to twitter.developer.com with this URL where we can see subscribe to account activity. Here you can find the details and guidelines of how to uh, subscribe to your webhooks with Twitter account API. So these all information given by Twitter here, but the very interesting thing is that securing webhooks. Where we need to find actually that challenge response checks, which means that Twitter will send a get request to your webhook, which should get CRC token and secret key from uh, Twitter and it should return response to Twitter to verify that your account or your webhook is registered or authenticated with Twitter. So let's move to MuleSoft application where I can explain you in a better way that what I have done for this all scenario. So this is the Mule application. Here I have two flows with the same URL. One with get, uh, you can see responses, advance, you can see get, which is the actual flow or webhook that it will be configured to Twitter and it will authenticate secret key and CRC token encoded uh, in an encoded way like in get base 64 which I have created a Java method to convert these input parameters the CRC token would be coming from a request and then this is consume secret API which is configured here right once we have this information whenever a twitter api is called from your rest client as i mentioned earlier yes so this is the api that where we we can register our webhook so this twitter api is going to register this webhook and this application i have deployed to cloud hub environment can see here so for that the, this will be URL and the path will be webhook which you can see here so this is the same application which I have deployed to cloud hub when I send a request from here this is the one which we set up in future this is the auth1 uh, authentication or authorization with consumer key consumer secret access token token secret this all information can be found from our apps 
here details tokens see this information can be entered here when you hit this api so this is the environment right we set up dev one environment for this api let me show you dev environments so this is the dev one environment we set up earlier in this video let's go back to twitter and then see this is the url this will be my web book right this is the same url shown here and then i am converting secret token and secret key so crc token and secret key and converting it to hmac and then sending as best 64 to my mule flow and then i have set up a payload that is expected by twitter to authenticate twitter expects response token coming from here right so this is another url which is also same webhook but this time it is post which means that whenever anything happens any activity happens within my twitter account i will get streamings in this flow i have converted this to json and then it will be logged into logger so let's go back to postman and subscribe to this webhook so this is the url and, and this is the twitter url where we can click send and we see this information and the status code is 200 it has returned id which means that this url has been subscribed to twitter so twitter has authenticated this url now whenever any activity happens i need to get the activities of my twitter account to this new application to the post request right but before we get to that point we need to send another request like this request a subscription because it is sent webhook now we need to subscribe so this is the same url this is the same parameter for our dev environment in twitter and click send to this url and then you can see authorization required okay authorization if we have these details now that i have got it working so the reason we were getting the error was that in our application within twitter whenever we change the permission these tokens uh, these tokens need to be revoked and regenerated so earlier in this video we changed the permission to read write and direct messages so i revoked this access token and regenerated it and sent it from here now you see that 204 is status code which means that our application has been subscribed to a mule uh, our mule application has been subscribed to twitter right so let's go to twitter and uh, subscription step here you see that one of 15 subscription right let's see this flow again so now whenever i will tweet someone follows me or unfollows me or any account activity happens to my twitter account streaming data will come to uh, here on my cloud hub where application is deployed and we will see from logs that what data we are getting so let's go back to mule uh, sorry or uh, twitter and let me post some motivational image for you and that should be if you can stay positive okay click okay 
and tweet. Now once you tweet here, you can go to mail flow and here we go. And in logs, we can see that tweet create events. And we are getting a lot of values, like there is so much information that we can extract and send to another third party applications or we can use it for analytics we can use it for anything else within our mule application so that's how this whole integration works so this brings end of video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos you can also leave comments to have a video that you would like to see in future until then stay tuned